Welcome to the second annual You God's Music Showcase Finals, presented by Techstar National Bank, featuring performances by Jordan Felice, Blanca, Jordan Smith, Jason Crabb, and Colton Dixon. And now, please welcome to the stage our returning host and two-time Grammy winner, Jason Crabb. Hey! How's everybody doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we present the 2021 You God's Music Showcase Finals right at the doorstep of the lovely San Antonio Riverwalk. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> we are coming at you live from the World Class Tobin Center for Performing Arts and we are all anticipating the inspiring music of your five showcase finalists. <laughs> Ultimately tonight, we will crown your You God's Music Showcase 2021 winner. Once again, I am your host, Jason Crabb. And it is so good to be back here in San Antonio, Texas. We just love Texas. God bless Texas, right? We have a great show for our live audience tonight, and we want you also 
uh, to welcome all of you. We want to welcome all of you at home watching through our online media platforms. Tonight's program is filled with Christian superstars. I mean, I'm telling you, superstars who are eager to perform their uplifting songs for you. It's going to be wonderful. So let's praise Jesus through inspiring music right here on the big stage. So to begin, let's first welcome our showcase judges. Our first judge is returning for a second time, and it's a huge Christian superstar. You're talking about a superstar, this guy's got it. Who sings a unique style of music? It's like folk, rock, soul, and Christian pop. Please help me welcome California native Jordan Feliz. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. And now our second judge is a Puerto Rican-born New York native whose powerhouse pop vocals have lit up the Christian music scene. Mm. Please welcome Blanca. Woo! All right, last but not least is our third judge, winner of The Voice season nine, and the highest, listen to this, highest selling artist ever to emerge from the NBC Emmy award winning show. Oh my goodness. Let's raise the roof and welcome one of the greatest singers I've ever heard in my life, Jordan Smith. Yeah. Let's go! Looking sharp, sir. Thank you. You don't look so bad yourself. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate that. Well, here we go. Our judges have taken their seats in front of the stage and are ready to score each contestant's performance. All right, people all across the U.S. will be viewing our showcase online. And through God's grace, we hope to provide you a memorable You God's Music Finals. The public has already voted, which counts for 40% of the finalist's total score. And Right out, Barrett, CPA, and business consultants have sealed those votes for us tonight. Now it's up to our three superstar judges who will, uh, yeah, who will present their scores tonight, which will calculate for the remaining 60% of the finalist total score. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now meet our top five showcase finalists. Are you ready? <laughs> From Palatka, Florida, let's welcome Summer Frost. From Angleton, Texas, here's Justin Gambino. From Winston-Salem, North Carolina, let's welcome Taylor Faden. From Melbourne, Florida, here's Carol Chisholm. And from Atlanta, Georgia, let's give a warm welcome to Tony Garman. All right, now let's give a big shout out to our house band, none other than the best of the best. Y'all gonna be blessed, I'm telling you. This is the Jordan Feliz Band. <laughs> they are good. Woo. 
Whether you're seated here in the beautiful Tobin Center or watching at home, we invite you to sit back, grab your popcorn, get your favorite drink, relax, and enjoy the view because it's going to be an incredible night where one finalist will take home the illustrious title of You God's Music Showcase 2021 winner. We asked our five finalists to prepare a testimonial video on how their faith in Jesus Christ has impacted their lives. Their testimony does not affect their score, but it is an opportunity for all of them to tell us about their faith. And secondly, we asked each contestant for their favorite Bible verse, which we'll share with you a little, you know, throughout the evening. So, and now our fo first showcase finalist is Summer Frost from Palatka, Florida. Throughout the showcase competition, a portion of her music, Vote Donations, has been donated to the Trinity Baptist Church. Summer's favorite Bible verse is, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans chapter eight, verse 28. Now will you take a look with me? Here's Summer's personal testimony on how her faith in Jesus Christ has impacted and influenced her life. Hello, my name is Summer Frost and I wanna share with you how Jesus is everything in my life. When I was just six years old, I accepted Jesus as my Savior and Lord. I was raised in a Christian home, grew up around it, and one night I asked my mother to explain what she was reading in this Christian magazine. So she pulled me aside to her bedroom and we knelt on the floor. And she pulled out a picture book and it had Jesus dying on the cross for me and raising me from the dead. Now all I had to do was believe it, admit that I'm a sinner and ask him to come into my heart, but I had to mean it with all of me. And so I remember it, <laughs> and I did. I asked the Lord to come in, and He has been with me ever since, and He will never leave me. It, when I was in 10th grade, my grandmother passed away, and I realized that I hate death. Life is hard, <laughs> and I need God to get through this. And so I clung to the Bible for the first time, and it became alive, and I was watching God just do so many incredible things. Then I discovered mission trips and how God is on a global scale. He's not just in our little bubble, He's everywhere. And that was incredible and I got back and I was on fire and ready to go and then I began to die, literally. I dropped a bunch of weight and I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called Addison's disease. It was really hard and music became more alive in my life. One night I picked up my guitar and asked God, how do I get rid of this, what do I do? He said, nothing. I need you to be still and I'll keep you safe. And he has every step of the way. <laughs> I work in a nursing home. Yes, I got COVID this past year and I'm okay. I get sick when they get sick because with an autoimmune, I don't have an immune system. God protects me and it's asking me to be there and he is my shield. Music has been a really big part of my life. I love how God uses it more than anything. But God asked me to move from the city that I loved and leave everything to a small country town and I love it. I was hesitant at first and fought him on it but now I see when God asks us to do something or go somewhere he will be faithful through it. I'm watching revival hit, I'm watching life change happen and it's incredible. While I've been here I got sick again and I had laryngitis and I lost my voice for about five months, had to go through vocal therapy. And ever since God gave it back, I don't want to use it for me. I want to use it to glorify God in everything that I do. So the songs I sing, I'm learning myself. I'm living these things out. And I want more than anything for God's presence just to, to be here and to follow with me. And I want to follow after what He wants to do. So I encourage you, hold on to Jesus no matter what you face. He's gotten me through everything. He is everything. Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Summer Frost to the stage to perform her original song, 
prayers you pray. Fantastic. Let's, let's talk to the judges. Can we do that? All right. You ready? Judges, what do you think? That was so awesome. Uh, you know, one of the things that I wrote down was that your testimony shines when you sing. Like, mm -hmm. you just believe what you sing. And it was so awesome to hear your testimony and then to hear the song that you wrote. Um, so I just thought it was amazing. You sound amazing. Um, you did a great job. Awesome. Thank you. I will agree with that statement. I, I felt like hearing your story, it just seems so genuine. Like you, 
I feel like you believe what you're saying and yeah. it, it comes across so well. And I think for like an opening uh, contestant to come out, that was like a big, you know, big moment. You're like yeah. starting the night, but you just kind of like put the walls down and made it just feel very honest and yeah. genuine and um, took some of the nerves away for all of us. So I think you did a beautiful job. The song was beautiful and great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello. Um, I absolutely loved the song. I loved what you did up there. You seemed very at home on the stage, which was just lovely to see. Your voice is absolutely beautiful. And the song, I mean, the songwriting of that song, it's, it's incredibly well written. It's a song I feel like that I could turn on Christian radio right now and hear that yeah. song playing. So great job. I think it was an awesome way to open the night. Congratulations, you want to give it. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's pretty good. Some of the greatest voices there is. That's good. Thank you so very much for kicking it off for us. One more time, how about it for Summer? Come on. All right, it's all right, here we go. Moving on to our second showcase finalist is Justin Gambino from Angleton, Texas. All right, throughout the showcase competition, a portion of his music vote donation has been donated to Surfside Church. Justin's favorite Bible verse is the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Ooh, I love that. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. And now, here is Justin's personal testimony. My name is Justin Gambino, and this is my testimony in two minutes. I started playing the guitar whenever I was uh, pretty young, mostly like toy guitars and stuff, but got my first guitar ever whenever I was 15 years old. Then uh, started leading worship in the church uh, youth group, started leading worship for the fifth and sixth graders at my church. Shortly after that, I started getting mixed in with the wrong crowd, started getting into a lot of trouble. Before I knew it, I found myself getting arrested um, getting in trouble with the law, finding myself in a courtroom, and being told that I need to join the military or go to jail. This guy uh, <laughs> chose the military. I served eight years in the Navy, did a tour in Iraq, and it was amazing. You know, looking back now, it's amazing to see how God was still pursuing me then because even whenever I was in Iraq in 07, um, the chapel there on the base needed a worship leader. So I had my dad send me my guitar and all the way overseas and started leading worship over there. Came home, started dealing with a lot of like anger and everything. Um, I remember like, like it was yesterday. Um, I was 23 years old. I was sitting in my apartment and just prayed to God that he would lift the, the heavy burdens that was on my shoulders. I just prayed that he would just take it all away. And I just told him that that I can't do it without him. And that's whenever I felt light as a feather and the Holy Spirit just came over me. And from there, um, I would say that that's whenever God really started transforming my life. In 2010, it's whenever God really spoke to me about doing music. God has just opened up some amazing opportunities for me to lead worship around the country, even around the world, and travel globally. It's been pretty amazing journey uh, but it's been challenging too and I would I would say that out of all the things that I've gotten to do with music just about six months ago I hosted a revival at the very courthouse where I was standing in a courtroom and being judged for what I've done wrong to be there outside and seeing my local community, my friends, my family, people driving from across the state, from different states, to come and worship with us at that revival. That's whenever God, He took that and He showed me, look Justin, look how I can take your mess and make a message. Now please welcome Justin Gambino to the stage with his original song, Fighting on My Behalf.
Good evening, San Antonio. The storm is raging. I find myself in the middle of the deep wide ocean. The deep wide ocean. The waves are crashing. The waves are crashing on me and I can't catch my breath, no. Can't catch my breath, no. In this season, I will find you when I seek with all I have. In this battle, I will trust you because I know you're fighting on my behalf. trust you even when I feel I can't move forward you'll move it even in the valley and lost in darkness I'll trust you even when I feel I can't move forward you'll move it even in the valley and lost in darkness I'll trust you out here did you no maybe you left it all out here fighting no mother how about it for Justin yeah and you wrote that I did fantastic golly come on let's hear it so the first thing I just want to take notice of is that you have a really nice hat uh, <laughs> you can't have it <laughs> deal uh, you also got hair, man. I mean, what are we, twins? What's going on, man? This is awesome. I love it. Um, bro, that, dude, that blew me away, man. That was amazing. Uh, I love that you just went for it, man. Um, in this kind of thing, man, that's what you got to do. You know what I mean? You just really just got to give it everything. And it, I could just feel you just giving it everything in that performance. Dude, I was, I literally just... I was just, I, I hardly wrote anything down because I was just watching you. I was so stoked so um, to watch you just command the stage. That was awesome. Uh, you sang your butt off. You got a really cool voice, man. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have like not that voice. So it's really cool to hear something that's so <laughs> different than mine. Um, and it's just so amazing to listen to all the performers. But man, you just killed it. I loved the song. Um, I'm just going to use what Jordan used the last song, too, is I, I literally feel like I could hear that on the radio, like, tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. um, it, it, great, dude. Absolutely Thank fantastic. Yeah. 
Rock. I feel like I'm connecting with the hair too, you know. <laughs> we have the curls going so yes. off the bat I was like, okay, this is like we have something. <laughs> um that was super captivating and I agree. It it seemed like you've been doing this for years, which you have, but it showed like you're you were comfortable, it was natural. That second verse kicked in and I was like, whoa. <laughs> well, it was like the power came in and I thought you did an amazing job. I would agree yeah. with uh, Jordan here. It sounded like uh, a well thought out song, well written. And then again, it's like the testimonies get me. Yeah. I start yeah, like, I you, you, you bring me in, you draw me in, hearing your story, it's so powerful. And then hearing the song, it's like, I get where this song came from. It makes sense. So I thought you did a wonderful job. Thank you. Um, Justin, man, that was an incredible performance. It didn't feel, I, I hesitate to use the word performance because it didn't feel like a performance. For you, this felt like something that means so much to you. Yeah, um, yeah. I can tell that this song was written from a very authentic place and that this is a huge part, obviously from seeing your testimony. But even if I hadn't seen that video before, I could hear that song and I could see you performing it and know that this meant something to you. This moment means something big to you. And that really came through in your performance. So I really appreciated that, uh, that sort of sincerity and authenticity. And man, as they were saying, your voice is so strong, so incredible. I mean, I have the like pure choir boy voice, so I wish I had the same power and grit. I literally wrote power and grit because I wish I had that kind of voice, man. It was just, it was so great. I so enjoyed it. It was. I'm gonna remember this one for a while. Thank you. Yeah. I love it. Come on, one more time. Well done, Justin. Thank you so very much for sharing your talent with us tonight. Now it's time to introduce our third showcase finalist, Taylor Vaden, who is from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Throughout the showcase competition, a portion of his music vote donation has been donated to the Living Word Ministry. Taylor's favorite Bible verse comes from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's watch Taylor's personal testimony. Started singing and playing guitar in church when I was around 13 years old. And since then, I've been blessed with so many different opportunities singing different genres of music. But uh, I go back to 2018, a few years ago, and the beginning of that year, I decided I was really going to start digging deeper in ministry and what God wanted to do with my music and not what Taylor wanted to do, but you know, being brought up in church and, and singing and playing in church at an early age, I've always had that foundation and that passion in Christian music and, and singing about Jesus and leading people in worship and writing songs about what God's done for me. So, um, like I said, in 2018 is when I started to dial in my vision and, and just give it to Him, whatever He wanted to do. And so since then, doors have opened and many opportunities to um, just be a part of bigger things that I never thought I would be a part of. And it's all from Him. And all of this is for Him. Again, I'm thankful and so grateful uh, for all God's done for me and, and with my music and through my music. And it's to reach people and encourage people. And uh, I'm just excited about what's to come. And I believe that Every contestant that's been a part of this is going to be blessed from the first round till now. Uh, I think good things, I, I know good things are going to come from this for everybody that's been a part of it. So thank you to everybody that's voted, um, you know, taking the time and your, your hard-earned money to donate to your favorite contestant to see them go far. That's meant a lot to me, and I know it's meant a lot to all the other contestants, so thank you. And uh, a real big shout out to my friends and my family and my church family, Living Word Ministries in King, North Carolina, for all the support. I have received so much um, support the last few months. It's been overwhelming. And I want to thank my beautiful wife, Leanne, who's with me tonight in San Antonio. So um, again, thank you, you guys, music. Thank you all that 
have uh, voted and bought a ticket for the showcase tonight. God bless you and God loves you so, 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 so much. Thank you again. Mr. Winston Salem, North Carolina. How are you? Great job. How about it? Come on now. Oh, great job. Great job. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, that was that was sick, man. Thank you. That's very California of me, but that was sick, bro. Right. Yeah. Um, dude. <laughs> this I don't know if somebody's gonna hate me for saying this but that was like that reminded me of like if Garth Brooks in the 90s wrote like like a song for Jesus you know what I'm saying <laughs> like I love it. it was just dude man I was like let's go dude um man yeah you sound incredible the song was written in like such a great key for you to to, to be strong like your voice sounded so strong um and uh, I also just love all, like, the voicings that you chose. Like, they're just so swampy, dude. Like, I just found myself making stank face the entire <laughs> song. I was like, oh, let's go. Um, but, dude, yes, absolutely crushed it, man. You sound incredible. The song was killer. Um, my goodness, just let's go, dude. Come on, let's Thank go. You, 
I knew it was going to be good when I saw Jason Crow was in the <laughs> background yeah. of the video. <laughs> I, what guys, kind of I good don't know. Did you guys miss that? But he had a signed, uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, it was a signed record. A signed yeah. record of Jason Crow. I was like, oh, he going to come with the sauce. Yeah. I knew it was going to be guy. good. So, I, I like that too. I thought that that was nice. <laughs> you you like yeah, that? Yeah, I thought that was nice too. I thought that was nice. And it didn't disappoint. You came with the energy. I, I think my one, when I started to write, I was like, Compared to the videos that we watched, I felt like I, I got an inside scoop on the first two contestants. So when you first started in the video, I was like, I feel like I'm getting a little, you know, getting to know him a little bit, but I'm still curious as how this is going to go. Then you came out. I think this has been my favorite song of the night just because it brought the soul and, and the energy and I, I felt it in my bones. So I thought you did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Mr. Smith? Yeah, I, um, that was very much something that I would have heard growing up in church in Kentucky. I know we're neighbors right over from North Carolina, but I, it's funny that you mentioned the Jason Crabb thing because you can hear the influence there <laughs> in that music. And that's a huge compliment. Sorry, I mean, dude. obviously, <laughs> the man is, is who he is, and he has the best, obviously, uh, stylist out there um <laughs> let me tell you i'm i'm a huge fan honestly i really enjoyed that your voice is incredible you the footwork i don't know if anybody else yes. saw the oh, footwork yes. i hope and pray to yes. god the cameras was on yeah. it the footwork was was yeah, if I had tried that, I would have fallen on my face. But I just love, I love how into, you, into it you were. It brought all of us into it. I feel like the whole room was just yours. You were commanding everything up there. Um, great job, man. I really enjoyed that. Come on. One more great hand for Taylor Bay. Come on. What an appropriate song for being right here in Texas, oh my goodness, Western Swing with a little blues pop. Great song. Taylor, praise God. All right, now folks, if you want to be up here on the showcase stage next year as one of our top five finalists for You God's Music Showcase 2022, auditions will open tonight. <laughs> Just go to yougodsmusic.org to submit your Christian music video and hopefully, We'll see you up here performing next year. Tonight's showcase winner, now listen to this, will receive a recording artist package valued at $8,500 with airfare, hotels, meals to Nashville to record a great, great, great record at home studio of Michael Tate, the famed lead singer of Newsboys and from a sponsor, Worship Now Publishing, tonight's winner will also receive a first-class publishing contract. And on top of that, tonight's winner will personally receive 80% of their final total donation votes, while 20 of their total donation votes will be gifted to the winner's church or religious organization. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. I love this. So now let's get back to our competition. You ready? Yeah. Hasn't it been great thus far? One more hand for the band too. Are they killing it or what? My goodness. Our fourth showcase finalist is Carol Chisholm from Melbourne, Florida. Throughout the showcase competition, a portion of her music vote donations has been donated to Love Center Church, Melbourne. All right, Carol's favorite Bible verse is from Psalms 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Ooh, don't you? Somebody said I'll say amen right there. That almost preached, didn't it? I love it. And now, here is Carol's personal testimony. 
Hi, my name is Carol Chisholm. Psalms 139 and 14 says, I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. There was a time when I did not know that. I didn't believe it. I have alopecia. It's an autoimmune disorder that attacks your hair follicles resulting in baldness. I've struggled with it for many years and for many years I've worn wigs and felt like I was in bondage and I felt fearful and shameful and humiliated and ugly and unwanted. A couple of years ago, I began to ask God, Lord, I just want to give you the glory. I want to praise you so that others can give you glory. And he said, how can they give me glory if they never know your struggle? I uncovered myself and just began to accept my identity in Christ. You see, I am not my hair. It doesn't define me. I'm defined by God's Spirit. And so I walk in confidence and boldness and I'm courageous. And I want to encourage anyone, you're not your faults. You're not your imperfections. You're not your scars, but you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And whew, I know that full well now. I know that God can give me a miracle. I truly believe that and I believe he will. But until then, I'm going to do what the psalmist says and I'm going to praise him because I know full well I don't live my life fearful anymore, but I live it out loud and unapologetic because God has given me that boldness to know that I'm walking in his identity and not my own. Was that an incredible testimony, video, or what? Right? All right. So. So get ready. Are y'all ready? ready. <laughs> I honestly don't think you are ready for this. Get ready. <laughs> oh, Lord. I've, I heard you. I heard you warming up. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Might as well do it right in Texas. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carol Chisholm and her original song, Belong. of glory we bow our knees before your majesty exalted on the throne forever you will reign there's no one like you no one deserves our Nobody 
deserves it. There's no one greater. Nobody else deserves it. There's no one greater. Let's let's see what let's see what Brother Jordan says. My Lord. I knew it was something like that. Come on. Man, uh bring in the church, Miss Carol. Let's go. My goodness. Um also I just have to say something really quick. Your testimony gave me goosebumps. I mean, just you speaking, I mean I, and and it come it just it came out so much while you were singing too. But you just you have a heart filled with joy and worship, um, and you can just see it. It's all over you, and it's so beautiful to watch it. It's beautiful to listen to it, um, and I was just so moved. And you you can sing like you you don't just sing. You know what I mean? Like you sang. You know what I'm saying? Um, just absolutely blown away. Um, you, you just seem so real, and I love that um, I can just tell that God has done such a work in you, and it comes out. It's just beautiful to see it, um, and it was an honor to watch it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. That was so powerful. It started from your story and it uh, continued on. I feel like there's people that when they sing, it's like all the pain, all the tears, everything that they've carried, everything that they've gone through comes out in that song. And I felt your, I felt your testimony as you were singing. It was super powerful. And then she threw in the listen. While she's singing, she's like, listen, listen, I wanted to take my shoe off and throw it up on the stage. <laughs> it was just, you brought the house down tonight. That was wonderful. I really enjoyed that performance. Thank you. Thank you. Brother Smith. Carol, Carol, Carol. <laughs> I, I honestly, at that, that's the point when I wanted to like be turned this way during the performance and I needed a big red button so I could go, <laughs> Boosh. Yeah. <laughs> um, you just totally owned that. And I think, I mean, I agree. I think part of it is your incredible voice, but so much of it is your spirit that just comes through. I mean, even just, you know, we, we sort of encountered each other um, 
us judges and contestants before we came out on stage and had a moment just to say hi and just your spirit walking around and just seeing you on stage. I mean, right now I can like, you are oozing just the love of God and it comes from that testimony that you shared with us um, and that just came through in the music. It was so incredible. Your voice is amazing. I was so moved by that performance. I mean, that's, that's my heart, that's what I grew up on. So I was like, as soon as, she, as, soon as I heard the first chords and I was like, oh, oh Lord, it's gospel, I'm going down. I was holding I was holding myself up at one point but Carol it was amazing thank you so much for blessing us with that tonight I so enjoyed Good that job. I think they liked you <laughs> I like that statement this is gospel I'm going down that's good oh my goodness thank you so much again come on how about it for Carol come on well folks are we having fun out here Oh my goodness, I know I am. I'm glad to say that we have one more finalist to perform right here on the Tobin stage and the contestant's name is Tony Garman. From Atlanta, Georgia, throughout the showcase competition, a portion of his music vote donation has been donated to the Ebenezer Baptist Church in, De how do I say this? Not Dracula, <laughs> it's Dracula, Georgia. Tony's favorite Bible verse comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16, where Paul tells us, for which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Somebody say amen. amen. Here's Tony's personal testimony. Hi, I'm Tony Garman from the Athens, Georgia area, and I want to take time to thank You God's Music for setting up this uh, competition and setting it up in a way that I, I truly respect. Um, but now I want to tell you about how Christian music has affected my life. I've always been a part of music, but I've never been one to write music. I never felt led to, to write music. And even through the years that I wanted to, I didn't understand the heart and mindset of doing so until a few years ago, I got into Christian music on the radio, and, um, and it really changed my life. I uh, became really obsessed with it. And uh, uh, in 2020, uh, God gave me my first three songs, Ebenezer, uh, Rock Under My Feet, and Inward Man. Uh, but December before that, I had spoke to my um, pastor about Bible study and how I had a hard time with Bible study. And uh, he worked with me a little bit until one day I read scripture on Ebenezer and a song came to my heart. And the next week with Rock Under My Feet, and the next week with Inward Man, all scripture based songs. And every time that I shared these with my pastor, uh, he was excited and he finally said, Tony, I think you found your Bible study. And I said, Sam, I think you're right. Uh, one thing about music though is, is these songs were given to me in a time where I questioned why, God, why'd you give them to me? And, uh, and even today, I, I thank him for doing that. I also want to thank him for bringing Scotty Wilbanks from Third Day in my life. He's the producer of these songs. He has been a wonderful blessing in my life and helped capture uh, each of these songs and, 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 and help bring them to life. Um, so I hope you enjoy the music. I hope you enjoy the songs that God gave me. And I wish everyone luck in the competition ahead. Thank you and God bless. Now from Decula, Georgia. Yeah. Now please welcome Tony Garman to the stage with his original song, Inward Man. God gave me a groove so you can move, okay? You gotta move. We spent a lot looking for things we can see and we can hear and this gym but if we spend a life looking for the one we can't see, but we can't feel, it'll be the for eternity. Oh, I want to be an inward man. The outward man is never going to stay There's trouble every side and bear so we hide, but he won't leave us in despair. Oh, I want to be an inward man in the sinful world we're living in. Persecuted in the town, his light is all around, but he will never stay by day. Oh, I wanna be an inward man. Yeah, yeah. We fed not for the mercy he gives, the weary see. 
31 and the days are short. He run at the sun, but his excellent power is taking us on one day. I want to be an every man The I'm a man is never gonna stay The struggle every side And bear it so we hide But he will leave us in despair Oh, I want to be an every man In the simple world we're living in First the cupid and the doubt His light is all around But he will know us day by day Oh, I want to be an every man Yeah, yeah, yeah Let's go. Uh, man, your voice, I, like there's a bunch of voices that are just so good. Like you have such a, like, it, it's so funny cause like whenever I think about voices that I love, it's like usually the exact opposite of what I have, you know? And you guys all have so much depth and I totally do not have that. <laughs> um, and dude, your voice just shine in that song. It's a great, great song. Um, what a groove. I mean, Thanks. it was like like John Mayer or something up there, bro. Come on. Paul um, wrote it now. That's Paul's song. Okay. Hey, there you go. There you go. Um, but, man, you, you sounded awesome. The Thank song you. is super strong. Um, and, dude, you just you, you owned it, man. Let's go. Thank you. It's awesome. did a great job, bro. Thanks. I agree with Jordan. I felt like there was a point in time where I was watching you, and it felt like it wasn't your voice like it, it it's like, i didn't expect <laughs> yeah. that voice to Literally. come out like i felt like yes. it was two different things and then it came together which made it super cool um i think the biggest thing aside from the song i feel like the song is super catchy we were singing it here and like right away we got it um you just seem like you were in the moment you were here you were present you were enjoying yourself it felt free it felt fun so I enjoy just watching you do your thing up there. I think it was a really great performance. Thank you. Thank you. Tony, I absolutely loved that. What a great way to sort of cap off this night of great music with a song like that. Um, I mean, obviously, it comes directly from Scripture, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love the lyrics. <laughs> but um, I think you did an incredible job. I, I agree with, with Blanca. I think that you just totally own that moment. It's very obvious watching you sing and be up there that this is what you were made to do. And, and you were very much in the moment and we were right there with you. Um, I love the groove on this song. I was gonna say the track on this song, but it's actually a live band. So yes. great job on that guys. This was, uh, this was a great performance for you, man. This is something you should be really proud of. Thank you. I'm going to tell you, Tony Epps is fantastic. We have heard such inspiring music from our top five finalists tonight, and we have truly been blessed. Haven't we? Come on. With all of this wonderful and creative talent throughout the entire competition, and of course, this is all done to worship Almighty God. You, God's Music, is a non for profit organization with the mission to promote up and coming Christian artists to encourage unity and joy among Christian groups through music and to help fund other organizations which also promote the common good for our communities. If you haven't joined You God's Music community yet, please do so now by going to yougodsmusic.org and take your place among our community where God is present in the lives of individuals, reaffirming that he is able to create harmony through unity among us. Amen, everybody? I love it. Turning back to the competition, the title on, is on the line, and the judges 
are finalizing their scores. And in just a little while, we will present the You God's Music Showcase winner right here on this very stage. But first, for your listening pleasure, I'm thrilled to present a Kentucky-born gospel singer who has won two Grammys and 24 Dove Awards. He has also an electrifying strange presence. He's got some vocals and a personality to match. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm introducing myself. Hey. <laughs> All right, everybody, can I sing a song for you? Oh, if you like it. Well, just act like you do even if you don't. I've been trying to figure out what it means to be human, flesh and bone, spirit and the soul. If I cannot earn your love by trying to measure up, why do I think I'd lose it in the lows? But somehow you see through my heart and you welcome me with open arms just as I been patient with my wondering, always knowing what I need. With a gentle hand, you show me where to go. No, there's never been a moment you were calling out to me. I heard your voice and now I'm coming home. Just as I am, in the good and the bad, Come on. you still understand. is thankful for the love of Jesus. Come on. Here we go. I just want to say thank you. Sing it with me. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Come on, sing it. I just want to say thank you. their lead singer at the age of 13 first experienced a desire to sing professionally and since then he has been nominated for many Dove Awards. His latest release is titled Next to Me. Audience, you, oh my, get ready. Y'all ready to start dancing a little bit? Oh yeah, get ready. 
Here we go. Make some noise for your Jordan Feliz. What's up, y'all? Y'all ready? Get up on your feet. Come on. I've been empty. When I'm low, you fill the cup. Yeah, but my ego fights back, telling me that I'm ready to grab the wheel and take control. But I'll crash if I don't let myself let go. On my faded man Join me alive Back to where you're at Patient when I try to move too fast I get this feeling I get this feeling Come on I get this feeling in my spirit When I'm low I hear it calling like the compass of my soul Saying child come on back now You've been going too long Let me lead you back Thank you so much, y'all. I about got it down. That dance, <laughs> you should have seen it. As the tabulations continue to be calculated, please allow me to introduce our next performer with an inspiring story. Listen, following the death of both of her parents and a difficult divorce, she has personally found solace in the words of her new song, even at my worst. The pop anthem speaks to the unconditional love of God who never leaves despite of our mistakes or of unimaginable circumstances we might find ourselves in. Here to perform her latest single, Even at My Worst, let's give a round of applause and a big Texas welcome to Belanca. So afraid that when you saw them, you would turn your back on me and leave. But in the silence, my insecurities are like a siren taking over me, and I can't hide them. 
Even then you see the best of me that I can see You just, I just, I, I, okay, I'm just like going. You know what I mean? That's what she does. Thank you so very much for an, an emotional and inspiring message. Through that incredible song. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Come on, are you enjoying this show so far? All right. Now let's keep it going with Jordan Smith, who showed the world his musical gift in 2015 when he became the best-selling artist in history of The Voice. And the winner of season nine. Now he's here tonight to perform his latest release called Battles. We are thankful and blessed to present Jordan one of my favorite vocalists, Smith. I can stand in the fire, I can sleep in the storm. I can walk through the valley, I'm never alone. I can climb any mountain, I will rise if I fall. I can face any battle.
This, hold on, John, come on. You are one of the greatest voices that I have ever heard in my life. And come on, gospel music, Christian music, music in general, we're just glad to have this voice, aren't we? Come on, Jordan, thank you so very much. Love you, friend. Come on, Jordan Smith. All I can say is get ready for that song to be like a smash. Ridiculous crazy. Folks, now I'd like to invite you to be among the first to attend the You God's Music Gala, Thursday, August 26th, right here at the Tobin Center. This gala is put together to benefit Christian organizations to secure your spot. Just go to YouGodsMusic.org for more information and reserve seating. At this time, I would like to invite our five finalists back to center stage. Y'all ready? Come on, let them know you appreciate them. Did they do a good job for you tonight? Right. While the contestants do that, I'm proud to say that this year's You God's Music has donated $50,000 to the contestants and their religious organizations. Come on, let's hear a big round of applause. That's amazing. All right, during the break, right out Barrett, San Antonio's CPA and business consultants have tallied the final results and now it's just about time to present the winner. To help us do that, we have a special guest, last year's You God's Music Showcase winner, Alexa Padalecki. Come on, Alexa. Oh! 
<laughs> it's good to see you good again. See you. Good to see you. Thank you so very much for this. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Do you remember this? I remember it, yeah. Okay, so tell me something. All right, now I've got a question for you. What has winning You God's Music, the very first contest, what has it done for your life? It has been so great. Um, you know, before this competition, I was just singing in my church choir, and now to have the opportunity to make my first song, which I'm in the process of right now, I just feel so blessed. So it's been such a blessing. Yeah. Alexa, you are absolutely wonderful, and we love you. One more time for Alexa Padalecki. Come on, let her know you appreciate her, and we can't wait to hear that song. Can't wait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that we started our showcase competition earlier this year with 110 contestants who chased their dreams by submitting their musical auditions but above all, they brought us the greatest joy because they opened their hearts and shared their music with love, and we felt it tonight, didn't we? Since then, we have had over 100,000 votes for our talented Christian musicians, the top five of which are here tonight to testify that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Okay, folks, you ready? <laughs> the moment that we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Here we go. Dim the lights. Because it's here. You ready? The nation has voted and our three judges have scored each finalist by their music ability, stage presence, and interpretation. And the winner of the You God's Music Showcase 2021 is. Justin Dambino! You keep them in your purse. We have had such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time tonight. And you know that we love you so very much. We're going to be praying for you. Thank you to all of the contestants for all your dedication and enthusiasm throughout our whole competition and showcase. We wish all of you the best. God has great things in store for each and every one of you. And I know that. Don't you? Come on. Well done, everyone. The band, the contestants, the judges. And of course, God Almighty. Come on. Bless his name. And our greatest joy is when Jesus fills you, God's music, in your hearts. Amen? And now, ladies and gentlemen, in celebration of this glorious night, we have our headliner coming to the stage who has quickly became a household name. He was voted a fan favorite and made it to the top seven on season 11 of the hit show, American Idol. His career has been on the fast track ever since, now boasting over 100 million streams all across different platforms. Let's welcome Christian rock star, Colton Dixon. Not 
turning off the light, stone the talent, and going back to my old life. But there's something about you, and I can't seem to get this feeling off my mind, on my mind. Cause moments fade, seasons change, but I keep coming back to you. And on some days, I lose my way. To you. I say it's easy for me to quit most things, but I can't quit you. I could give it up and go my own way, but I can't follow through. Every time I think about us, think about the reasons why. I know it's time for giving up on giving up, I gotta try. It's easy for me to quit most things, but I can't quit you. It's never been easy, thinking I wouldn't get it right. On to the next day, that's all different this time. There's something about you, and I can't seem to get this feeling off my mind. Off my mind. I say it's easy for me to. It's easy for me to quit most things, but I can't quit you. I could give it up and go my own way, but I can't follow through. Cause every time I think about us, think about the reasons why. Unto my feet, your love is my eyes. 
you so much.
just a couple months ago. We're gonna play it for you tonight. It's called Made to Fly. My daddy always told me, hold your head up high. It's just one moment in all of time. If you can't see, just close your eyes.
it's magic. 